Another big story we're following the accused airport gunman in a Fort Lauderdale courthouse right now. He is making his first court appearance after being charged in Friday's mass shooting. CBS 4 Silva Harapentian is live outside the courthouse with more. Silva. Good afternoon, Elliot. Esteban Santiago faced a federal judge early this morning. The hearing actually ended just a little while ago. We know he's facing three federal charges, two of which could carry a maximum sentence of the death penalty. In the meantime, we're getting our first look inside Terminal 2 baggage claim where the incident happened. Uh, but this morning, we watched him arrive in Bro from Broward County Jail to federal court. Take a look. Shooting suspect Esteban Santiago wearing a red jumpsuit and in handcuffs escorted out of Broward County Jail. Looking at this 26-year-old former Army veteran, there are no indications to why he allegedly killed five people and wounded six at Hollywood Fort Lauderdale International Airport on Friday. Walking out of jail, he had no particular expression on his face. Visible, though, both his arms covered with tattoos. Agents escorted him into black SUV, spoke to him for a few minutes, and then drove him to federal courthouse in Broward County. Our cameras were rolling when the SUVs pulled up into the garage. Santiago is facing federal charges for violence at International Airport. Charging documents show the 26-year-old New Jersey native had two magazine clips and fired 15 shots before being arrested. Celebrity gossip website TMZ has obtained what appears to be airport surveillance video showing the moment Santiago allegedly pulled a 9 millimeter handgun from his waistband and opened fire. We're freezing the video right before shots were fired. It's unclear how TMZ obtained the video, and according to the Sun Sentinel, Broward Airport authorities are investigating how TMZ got a hold of it. We have a subject with cut, cut to the head. Most of the five victims killed were vacation bound, including 57 year old Michael Ohm, 62 year old Terry Andre, 70 year old Shirley Timmons, and Olga Wolverine, a great grandmother. The whole neighborhood and community is just. Uh, distraught over it because they were such a such a wonderful wonderful pair and made, they meant the world to all of us. Frightened passengers in baggage claim area remembered the terrifying moments. A man climbed on top of my body and as he did so he said I will protect you. And back here alive, as far as the victims are concerned, we know five remain hospitalized, two are still in critical condition. Going back to the suspect now in federal court, and now you may know that cameras and phones are not allowed in the courtroom, but our colleague here, Ted Scouten, was inside the courtroom as the proceedings were, were happening. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened in the courtroom today? Yeah, what they basically did right now is they just read the charges and told him what the maximum penalties could be. So the charges, uh, performing an act of violence against a person at an international airport, Airport maximum for that could be uh, the death penalty, using and carrying a firearm during a crime of violence and causing the death of a person using a firearm. That one is also uh, could be a maximum of, of the death penalty. You know, when he walked into the courtroom, he was very pale when you look at him. He's wearing a red jumpsuit that says maximum security inmate on the back of it, and he had four security officers surrounding him, and uh, he was shackled at both his hands and at his feet. And then he sat down, and most of the time uh, he either had his head down or he was looking directly forward. The judge asked him a few questions, mostly about his finances, to see if uh, he could get a court-appointed attorney. Right. And um, so he just answered mostly one-word answers. Basically, he's destitute. Uh, he said he has like five to ten dollars in the bank, so uh, no money at all, really. Yeah, we, you know, we know a little bit about the suspect. We know he's 26 year old. He's uh, a former Army veteran. We know that he bought a one way ticket from Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska, did a, had a connection through Minnesota, and then came to Florida and with the intent to carry out this attack. Did we learn anything more that could point us to why he may have decided to carry out this attack here in South Florida? No, in, in this court hearing, they weren't talking about anything about the facts of the case or anything about the case at all, simply just talking about uh, the possibility of him needing an attorney and just to um, just just to basically find out uh, if he had the finances to afford an attorney. We also did learn, though, that he was a security guard uh, in Alaska at a company there, and then he said also that he was in the Army for about 10 years. Thank you, Ted. Uh, of course, we will have a lot more on this story on our later newscast 5 and 6, and of course, CBSMiami.com. I'm still Bahara Pettyon with my colleague Ted Scouten. Back to you. Silva and Ted, thank you for that live report. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of the deadly airport shooting. We'll bring you all the new information as it's released.